with a shared ambition to make the future of motoring extraordinary, the Honorable Charles Rolls and Sir Henry Royce joined forces in 1904. Despite being from very different backgrounds, the founders of Rolls, Royce Motor Cars formed an unlikely partnership, one forged from a shared passion for engineering and a desire to create the best car in the world. Welcome to TIT TV. Born in 1877 in London's affluent Berkeley Square, Charles Stuart Rolls was the third son of Lord and Lady Ellen Goddard. After school at Eton, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please subscribe to our channel now. Rolls studied mechanical engineering at Trinity College, Cambridge, where he was the first undergraduate to own a motor car. Having gained a reputation for tinkering with engines, Rolls earned himself the nicknames Dirty Rolls in Petrols and Patrols. By the time he left university, Rolls was already an accomplished motorist. In 1903, he broke the world land speed record in Dublin, driving a 30 hype Moors at nearly 80. 3MF, but because the timing equipment was not approved, the governing body refused to acknowledge his accomplishment. To fund his sporting activities, Rolls set up one of the first car dealerships in Britain with his friend Claude Johnson. CZ's Rolls company together, they imported and sold Pugiate motor cars from France and Minerva motor cars from Belgium. Henry Royce was working by the age of nine, born in 1863 in Peterborough, England. Royce sold newspapers and worked as a telegram boy before his fortunes changed. At 14 years old, one of Royce's aunts paid for him to begin an apprenticeship with Great Northern Railway Works. Working under one of the outstanding engineers of the day, Royce took every opportunity to educate himself, spending his evenings studying algebra, French, and electrical engineering. With a natural talent for engineering, Royce landed a job with the Electric Light and Power Company. Royce's true ambition was to make engineering his full-time job. He started a business with his fellow engineer friend, Ernest Claremont working around the clock to make electrical components, such as doorbells and dynamos. It was during this time that Royce patented improvements to the bayonet light bulb that are still in use today. It wasn't until he bought a second-hand two-cylinder French de Caville that Royce became interested in building motor cars. He had an instinctive desire for perfection and an innate work ethic that later became a pillar of roles. Royce philosophy take the best that exists and make it better. Having found construction faults in the French Decauville, Royce vowed to do better. By the end of 1903, he had designed and built his first patrol engine. And in April 1904, he drove his first Royce tent motor car into town. Henry Edmonds, a shareholder in Royce's company and a friend of Rolls, was boasting to him about his new 10 pre Royce motor car. At the time, Rolls was frustrated at only being able to sell foreign imports. So Edmonds arranged a meeting with the man behind the tent app. Little did Edmonds know that the meeting he organized would change the future of motoring forever. Rolls and Royce first met on 4 May 1904 in Manchester. Within minutes of seeing Royce's twin cylinder tent, Rolls knew he had found what he was looking for. After taking the motor car for a drive, Rolls agreed on the spot to sell as many motor cars as Royce could build. Under the name Rolls, Royce could build. Under the name Rolls, Royce. Creating a brand requires vision. So while Rolls and Royce were busy building and selling motor cars, it was Rolls' partner, Claude Johnson, who stepped into the role of managing director and expanded the fledgling company's reputation. A genius at publicity, Claude Johnson was so integral to the success of the company that he became known as the hyphen in Rolls. Royce, one of Johnson's early adverts for the 4050 motor car promoted it as the six cylinder Rolls. Royce, not one of the best, but the best car in the world. In that moment, he had introduced the phrase that would forever be associated with Rolls. Royce, Johnson's decision to orchestrate a series of publicity stunts to promote the quietness and reliability of Rolls. Royce motor cars was incredibly effective. It demonstrated their superior performance and created global exposure for their world-class engineering. I hope you guys enjoy this video to please make sure like and subscribe my channel so you never miss any video from TIT TV.